Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There's been 20 earthquakes today, most of them in the range of a magnitude 3 or greater. The most recent was a magnitude 3.6. In the last week, there's been 141 earthquakes in this location. This is just another sign of an area that's locked along the Puerto Rican Trench. And I have done videos, reports about this area. Um, this fault line extends um, as part of the Mona Passage, the Mona Rift. This area is capable of a mega thrust earthquake. You can see how it extends all the way down here. Let me bring it out a little bit. And they know that large earthquakes can trigger other fault zones. I've talked about this one that goes all the way down to uh, Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Um, yeah, they've been having earthquakes along here too. This latest earthquake, the magnitude 3.6, no one reported feeling it. There was a 3.3. And that was today. No one reported feeling it. Another 3.3, another 3.3, a 3.1, a 3.0, another 3.1, a 3.0. Of the 20 earthquakes, there was only two that were not a magnitude 3.0 or greater. More than likely, these were downgraded. They were probably magnitude threes. I hope everyone there in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, uh, throughout this area, is prepared for a large earthquake. We got Jamaica here that goes along this fault line. It all interconnects and then all the way up to the Cayman Islands. Yeah, some Cayman Islands has one of the deepest trenches um, in the area. This image here was provided by USGS uh, showing, I believe, how often they have earthquakes on different fault zones. This one here about every 300 years. Yeah, different sections they don't even know. Um, one small section here every 450 years um yeah yeah 300 years here um 75 to 100 years they're about 100 years behind in geology compared to other sciences another image provided by USGS when they did a study back in 2013 of the Mona Passage and the Mona Rift In 1946, off the northeast coast of the Dominican Republic, there was an 8.1 earthquake that killed over a thousand people. Yeah, northeast coast. Actually, according to some reports, it was a thousand six hundred people. About a dozen earthquakes in the last 500 years have occurred between Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands of a magnitude 7.1 or greater. And some scientists say that about every 50 years in this region, there is a large, major earthquake. Every 50 years. So that 8.1, 46 years ago, yeah, it would be overdue, wouldn't you say? With the over 20 million people that live in this area, plus all the tourists that visit this area every year, uh, yeah, the amount of death would be tremendous in this day and age. The Puerto Rican Trench is about 560 miles long and 60 miles wide. Since 1670, there's been over 13 earthquakes in this area of a magnitude 7.1 or greater. And three of those produced tsunamis. Because some of these fault zones, um, trenches, um, rifts are so deep, yeah, they can create landslides, which can create tsunamis. Yeah, scarps, uh, there's uh, the scarp area of the Mona Passage. So what is a scarp fault? A scarp fault, according to Wikipedia, is where one side of the fault has moved vertically with respect to the other. It's where you have uplift that is very steep. Here's an example of a fault scarp in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia. I mean, look at that. This one image here actually might be Bora Peak in Idaho. And then this one is in Mongolia. This is a fault scarp that was created by the 1959 Hedge Bend Lake or Hegen Lake earthquake in 1959. So they don't talk about this when they talk about Yellowstone and the 1959 earthquake that killed a lot of people. So you have to take that into consideration with the threat of earthquakes. And like I said, there's been 20 today. Only two of them were less than a magnitude 3.0.
and most areas in this location have built along the coast because the interior is so rocky because of the volcanic um, creation of the islands and those coastal areas have the threat of yeah the areas turning to quicksand um, you probably only have a short period of time to evacuate straight up if you can find a building that's still standing and sturdy enough and tall enough to withstand a tsunami and like I said this is indication that pressure has built up so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for subscribing happy new year merry Christmas God bless you. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.